Hello and welcome back to a new video by McDonald Bullion and for this video this is going to be a breakdown of the one ounce Silver Britannia covering its security features, the details on the coin, how much to pay for etc. We're going to cover that all in today's video. The Silver Britannia is going to be the main national coin when it comes to the United Kingdom. You've got the American Silver Eagle for the US, you've got the Kangaroo for Australia, you've got the Maple Leaf for Canada. The Britannia is going to be what I would suggest as the most famous coin when it comes to Britain in terms of silver bullion and also gold bullion as well arguably in my opinion anyway. Now the coin itself has four advanced security features which does not feature with any other bullion coin and we're going to take a look at those security features that comes on the coin. The security features that feature on the coin is you have the Trident which swaps to a padlock just in the lower left there. You've got the waves animation that brings it to life. You've got the micro text that not only adds protection of the coin but it also provides some good decoration. And it also features tincture lines within the shield itself. And I will be honest I've never seen a Britannia that's faked before in terms of this one. Usually when you pick up a silver Britannia they will be real. And the coin itself features Lady Britannia and Philip Nathan's 1987 interpretation and it's one of the most visually secure silver bullion coins on today's market. It's a very advanced coin. Not to say it's the best one because best is subjective but it's a very very nice coin. And to the obverse you've got the Queen Elizabeth II, two pounds because it's considered legal tender and the reason why people pick up these types of coins is they are CGT free. Meaning you don't pay taxes on potential profit if you have a large amount of these. But if you're new to silver stacking don't worry so much when it comes to CGT because it's only really those that have a load of silver or huge collections. If you're starting off, ignore CGT for now, buy what you like, don't worry about that. But Silver Britannia's really good buy. You've got the Elizabeth II by Grace of God, Defender of the Faith, £2. Now this is a 2023 one. The 2024s that feature King Charles III, they're going to be the same specifications. Three nines fine silver, denomination of £2, diameters 38.61mm, so pretty standard across the board. They're slightly smaller compared to Libertad and American Silver Eagles. The reverse designer is by Philip Nathan. Martin Jennings is going to be the obverse designer of the Queen's Head and it's going to be a bullion coin, one troy ounce. But these are really nice coins. You can buy a Silver Britannia's pretty much anywhere when it comes to coin shops or bullion dealers such as Chards, Atkinson's, Tavex Bullion. Just looking on the Tavex Bullion's website now, they currently sell Silver Britannia's for £30.52, which is a fairly good deal seeming as the price of silver has gone up to around about 23 pounds i think it's just under 22 pound ish at the time of recording so 30 pounds for a britannia from a dealer is a decent deal that's not including delivery but if you buy more than one it makes it worthwhile and the reason why i just give tavex bullion is because tavex bullion is going to be the dealer that i work with closely the most and i'm not saying they're the best but if you do want to purchase some gold and things you can use my code but there's no obligation you can pretty much get a silver britannia anywhere just look for deals and things but if you are new just stick to dealers but in terms of my opinion britannias are a solid choice of one of the best bullion coins that you can buy